So I've been going to do this video and I'm kind of plugging Mabco Motors because I've got this Bronco here I'm sitting in. It's a 94 Bronco. It had 300,000 miles on it. All of the fuel injection stuff was going bad. It was running just really tired. And uh, But I love the truck. Now I wasn't going to put a ton of money into it and I knew that that engine needed some love. Well, then my transmission went out. I ended up putting a five speed in it out of an F-150 pickup, right? And then uh, I thought, well, now I don't have a computer controlled Com, uh, transmission so now I can I can start doing work to the engine well it was really sorry I had some burnt valves I had low compression it smoked a little bit it was really a dog these things new only had about 200 and maybe 10 horses and now um, it was probably giving me maybe 165 it was just really running weak so I got on eBay and I went to a bunch of websites. I looked at crate engines. I looked at what it would cost me to rebuild it. I'd considered just going through the engine and throwing a like a, a, a stroker kit in it, make it a 408, but I didn't want the downtime. So, you know, then you got your car all torn apart. You're waiting for the machine shop. They're extremely expensive. And, and then you got to order the parts to fit what they have to cut at the machine shop. And then if the parts don't come in right, da, 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 you're hating your life and your trucks broke down for a month and a half, right? And strung out all over everything in the way. So I decided I was going to do a crate motor. Well, I started looking at some options and you can get some pretty nice crate engines for between, you know, four and seven, eight thousand dollars. You can get some pretty nice engines. I don't want to spend that on this truck. It's my work truck. It's my daily driver. It's kind of like my, my tow vehicle. So I'm just like, look, what is the best deal? So I found this company called Mabco and I started looking at their stuff and it was the prices for their engines were so much better than I could even build myself. I started thinking, you know, maybe that's the option. So uh, I looked at some reviews and there was only one video where a guy tore down a 302 he bought and he said it looked pretty good. He had no real complaints at all. Um, but other than that, it was just a lot of bad mouthing on forums and stuff. Mabco makes crap. Mabco, they do cheesy work. They cut corners. Their parts are garbage, blah, 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 whatever. They're too cheap to be good. Well, I decided to throw the dice and, and I talked to the guys down there and then there's a guy down there named Austin. Awesome dude. I talked to him. He knows what he's talking about. And his father, I didn't get his name, but he was a really nice guy too. So <clears throat> I decided to order their high performance short block. It's 5.8 non-roller. This thing was a roller. I decided to just skip that. I went with a non-roller block. They, um, so I had it delivered in three weeks to my house from Texas to Northern Florida. Done. Now, um, I decided to put some no-name aluminum heads on it with a little smaller combustion chambers for some compression. I decided to put, uh, you know, I had some roller rockers I put on there. I put a 600 vacuum secondary ho uh, holly, four barrel, uh, some no-name stainless headers, uh, some uh, a no-name like a Edelbrock Performer knockoff manifold I got off eBay. I just kind of low bucked this thing to see what I could get out of it, right? I did go with an MSD distributor. I, I like MSD stuff. But... Um, so I, uh, <clears throat> I got the engine. It was packaged really nice. So it looked good the way they shipped it. Now I got the block and their high performance engine came with high compression, flat top pistons, a, what they're calling their 280 muscle grind cam. I was really interested in what the specs were and they didn't actually have them. I called up and talked to Austin's dad. He had the guy that makes the cams for them call me. And he called me and he said, hey, what's your question? <coughs> and I told him, I said uh, what I'd gotten. And what he explained was it was basically an old, an older grind, but it was the equivalent of what you would have gotten factory in say a 1971 Z28 or uh, you know a GT Mustang or maybe a GTO Judge. Just a, the high performance end of, of pretty much a performance stock option is the way I, what I would got out of it good enough it's in a Bronco it's not a drag car I said fine um, so the parts showed up in three weeks I got the short block with the cam installed and the double roller timing chain and the high compression pistons all machined I pulled all the, I pulled some caps not all of them checked all the torque looked at everything everything looked good they also sent me a high volume oil pump complete gasket set push rods lifters and uh, the distributor shaft everything delivered to my door with no core to mess with for like 1500 bucks so i got the thing put it on the engine stand went through it <clears throat> um 
put the aluminum heads on it, got it all together. I had a couple bugs I had to work out of it, but I put it together. I gotta tell you, I am really happy. I don't think for the bang for the buck that you can do better than what I got from Mapco. They were easy to deal with. They delivered on time. All the parts were right. So for about 1500 bucks, I got a complete short block and everything I needed to go in the truck. Put it all together, put it in the truck, and everything's been flawless. It runs great, doesn't leak oil. We compression tested it with the heads I put on it with 62 cc combustion chambers. This little 351 Windsor's getting about 170 pounds of compression. It runs fantastic, idles good. I can't complain at all. And I would recommend anybody who's gonna get an engine, check out Mabco first before you spend your money because I don't think you can beat that anywhere. So total hats off to them. I'll show you some pictures, let you hear the engine. In fact, you can listen to it right here. Listen to this. <clears throat> The idle's not too radical, but it pulls hard from about 25 to 55, almost six grand. I haven't run it too tight, but uh, it pulls really strong from about 35 to 55. I mean, it's strong. So I'm really happy. In fact, I just threw some 411s in it a couple weeks after I put the engine in it and I got it kind of broken in just to uh, see how it would help out. And it, it helped out 411s awesome with 33 inch tires. I'll show you a couple pictures under the hood and stuff. Anyway, so that's my experience buying an engine from Mabco Motors. So if you want something that's done right for a really good price, and I thought they had really good customer service, they answered all my questions, they did stuff for me they didn't even have to do, um, give them a shot. Truck runs great, it's really strong, and the performance, short block without all the extra stuff, was only like $1,100. So I would look into that, and like any engine, if you buy it, you know, you might want to go through it and make sure that, you know, look at it, make sure you're happy before you put it in. That's just a good rule of thumb. But uh, hats off to those guys, and um, good luck in your hot rod world, people. Have a good one.